guys, Susie here, and today I'm going to show you how to add a video to your WordPress blog post. Okay, so you might be wondering, am I allowed to do this? How do I do this? Should I do this? And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly all of that and answer those questions. So again, if you find this video helpful, um, and if you like my content, please subscribe, click the little button, the little bell thing, click the thumbs up, leave a comment. Let me know that I'm doing the right thing by helping you guys um, create awesome blogs and websites. All right, so let's get into it. First of all, why do you want to add a video to your WordPress blog? A couple reasons. Number one is it adds more dwell time on your website. So if people are watching a video on your blog, then they're staying there for more than the 10 seconds as they go through and scroll your blog post. So if you can find an applicable video that works really well with your blog post, embed it in your blog post so that your readers stay on your page longer. This gives all good signals to Google showing that your content is valuable. People aren't just clicking on and clicking off. So that's number one, a good reason. Number two is if you already have videos that you create on YouTube, and then you can repurpose that content and put that video on your blog and then add some more text around it. Then you have a blog post from the video that you have. So it additionally gives you another way to repurpose your content. It also gives you more views on YouTube, even if they watch it on your blog. All right. And then another thing is that say, for example, you did a collaboration with somebody else and the video is on their channel, on their YouTube, channel interface, you're still allowed to take that video and put it on your blog. It actually gives them exposure. It gives their video more page views, and it gives you a, a way to create content because sometimes you're busy, life is hectic and taking content from collaborations that you've had with other people, creating that into making that into a blog post gives you more ways of creating content when you're low on time. Then a big question is, am I allowed to embed anybody's video on my blog? Yes, like you're allowed to go to YouTube, get the embed codes, which I'm going to show you how to do right now and add that video to your blog because that gives that person more views. It gives them more exposure. It's good for them. It's like linking to another person's website and sending them traffic. Same way you're doing when you embed their video onto your blog. Don't get excessive. Don't make an entire blog just about somebody else's YouTube videos, like, you know, when you're kind of overstepping the bounds, like one or two, maybe here and there is great. Don't take all like, don't, don't be weird and like take somebody's entire YouTube channel and like put it on your blog and then make a whole blog about it. Like that's, that's strange, but like, you know, when you're kind of overstepping bounds anyway. So taking somebody's like one video, sending them more traffic, adding that video to your blog post, maybe you're talking about fitness and you don't have a video on somebody actually doing squats or deadlifts but you would like to show people in your blog post actually how to do it. There's probably tons of really cool instructional videos of how to do the right squat or deadlift, and you can embed that video onto your blog. Another tip is where do you actually put the video on your blog post? About like midway, like up, like not the first thing you see when you scroll down the blog post, but like it should be around the top of the blog post so that People don't have to scroll all the way to the bottom to get to it because if they see it kind of at the top, they might click play and they'll stay on your blog post longer. All right. So how many videos? Not an exact answer for that, but I would ballpark it no more than like three videos per blog post because it might start slowing down your load speed for that blog post itself. So one, two, fantastic. Don't overload it with just video after video after video because that could slow down the web page and then that's going to then negate the benefit that you're getting of people actually staying on your blog. Anyway, so those are a couple common questions that I get about embedding videos on your blog post. And now this is how you do it. All right. So I'm going to go, this is the back end of my WordPress dashboard. I'm going to go to post, click on add new. And then I am going to use the default editor. So I have multiple page builders on this website, um, but for all my blog posts, I use the Gutenberg default editor. So I'm just going to click on that, add a title. So the video I'm going to embed is high paying work from home jobs for 2019. So it's a little, it's last year, but you guys it still works. Okay. High paying 
work from home jobs for okay for 2019 um let's say it's like 27 depending on how many we talked about in the interview so i'm going to add some text here i'm going to get some latin text okay so latin generator text just so that i have some placeholder here copy this you guys don't have to do this in your blog post this is just for me to like show an example so say for example that is my blog post and then I'm going to add a title and a couple add another title here just want to make this as like clear so you kind of see how the whole thing is structured so on these titles I'm going to make them h2s another h2 another h2 all right so here's a very common looking blog post if we click on preview this is what it's going to look like right now but um just waiting for it to generate and all of a sudden i got a cool accent <laughs> okay so pretty clean blog post. How do we add a video to this? What do we do guys? How do we embed that video in here? So what I'm going to do is go to the video that I like. So this is not even my channel. This is Gia's channel from marriage and motherhood. Um, we had an interview, um, last year where we chatted together. It was awesome. So what you do is you can go to the video, you can either click on share and then click on embed and we're going to get the embed code. You can have it start at a specific time stamp if you want to start it at 18 seconds in or a minute in or just start when the video starts so you can do this and click on copy it's going to copy your embed code here now the big thing that most people miss or that's a little tricky when you go back to your blog post you want to make sure that you're adding it as an html block right so i think where are we going to add it like here Okay, we have our introductionary paragraph. We're starting with our blog here, I think is a great spot to add that video. All right, so what we're gonna do here is click on the little plus and type in HTML. So you're gonna paste custom HTML and I'm gonna do control V. So I'm gonna paste the code that we just got from YouTube. So this is the code. I'm gonna paste it in that box. And one little thing that you can do is code. I'm gonna teach you how to code it's like one little word. So you're going to do the little bracket and then the little slash and type in center and do the close bracket. And you're going to go to the front of the HTML code and then do the bracket center and the little close bracket, no slash on the first center. So you're going to type in center there and you're going to type in center there with the little brackets and the slash on the end one. And you click on preview that will actually center as the word says, your video. So it's not like shifted to the left the whole time. I'm gonna click on preview and you can see the video there. That was pretty simple. We're gonna click on preview for our blog post. And then once you publish your blog post, definitely let the YouTuber know if you, if you know them personally, or if you would like to get some exposure, it's kind of like, linking back to your, their blog and saying, Hey, I loved your content. I linked back to it. If you'd like to share it with your audience, that would be awesome. So it gives you an opportunity to kind of build a relationship with somebody else, um, or like make that relationship better if you already have a collaboration with somebody else. So it's, it's awesome. Like it helps you with content. It helps them get exposure. It's a win-win for everybody. Um, just don't be weird and like embed all their videos on your blog. Right? Like I said before. Okay. So now when somebody goes, comes to your blog post or seeing, Oh, cool video it kind of breaks up all the tags. It's not so much like just a sea of black and white text and they can go through, maybe add some images here, maybe a good call to action. If you guys don't know anything about blogging or how to start your own blog, I do have the blog by number course below in the description to find out more about that. All right. So I think that is pretty much it. Um, another way to add this video to your blog is you can just right click on the video and say copy embed code. So you can do it that way. Or as I showed before with the little share button, 
but just this way was easier so you can actually actually see the code or you could just go here for a little shortcut right click on it whoops yeah. noops whoops whoops my right click button is kind of lazy sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't okay and then you just click on copy embed code go back to your post sometimes it works where you're just on a new line in Gutenberg and you can just do you can just paste it sometimes it recognizes it as HTML you click on preview sometimes it doesn't so sometimes adding it as a block is just a cleaner way of getting it in there all right click on preview voila let's preview this on this side All right, so you might be wondering why this video is so much smaller than this one. And then you can decide which one you actually like more. Do you like the smaller one with the more white space around it? Or do you like the big video in your blog post? The way to change the size of the video is if you go back to the HTML section, if you click on this one and click on HTML, you can see the width here is 1,260. 12 by 60, I don't know, how, how do people say this? I'm horrible of saying numbers. Um, and the height is 709, where the smaller one, the width was 560 and the height was 315, all right? So you can change the dimensions of the, um, the video. All right, so just a quick Google search shows us that the Google's recommendations for your image for a YouTube video should be 1280 by 720. So let's go back to our post. We'll do on the preview. We'll do, I'm just going to copy that height and width code. So it's going to be 1280 by 720. All right, so that's the ideal size for YouTube videos. All right, so if you guys want to know that, that's what it is. You can check and change it. If you want it to be smaller or larger, you can change the width and height here. I hope that helps and shows you how to add YouTube videos to your WordPress blog posts and gives you the confidence to go out and repurpose your own videos to do collaborations with other YouTubers or to give them some recognition and build those relationships with them by embedding their amazing content in your blog. All right, guys, I hope this video helped you. Let me know if you have any comments below, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.